Welcome back guys to those guys that do things in the house and we're here and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different We're gonna be reading we're gonna be fan fictions. Uh, reading we're, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be reading fan fiction and to explain what fan fiction is fan fiction this is Just open it dude just <laughs> we're gonna go to the best browser out there uh, Internet Explorer <clears throat> And we're gonna disregard that that link is already purple. I don't read this that's casually. Weird, fam. I that's don't read weird. this casually. Fam, that's weird. Fam, F A M, that's weird. Okay, we're gonna be reading sexy Sonic fan fiction. I don't know what else I could have put in to like bring up like you know like mature Sonic themes. Nah, you could. Sonic themed but fan fiction. Sonic having sex with other Sonics. Whoa, dude. <laughs> what? What if it? I didn't. What if I saw images? Wait. So should we do Sonic Super Sexy Adventure or should we like do one of these? I mean, it's already purple. I mean, we haven't read it yet. Like, we clicked on this earlier to, like, you know, to kind of scope out what goes on in these out. places. And I wasn't, I wasn't surprised. I have cancer now, but I wasn't. <sighs> Just go ahead, man. Just. <clears throat> okay, Sonic Super Sexy Adventure by Reno Maki FF. Should we check out some of his other content before we start reading? Oh, by the way, this is this is mature, guys. For that's the end, mature. Hey, Tragedy, if you're a kid, humor. Get the get the hell out of here. Get get the hoot out of here. <laughs> Greeting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is he a boss, bro? <laughs> it, starts, it, it says slow claps at the beginning, you know? He starts scratching his cat. Canada, of course. A fucking leaf. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. <clears throat> All right. I am Reno Maki. I am a writer who wrote and is still writing stories for FA and DA. Now I'm writing for FF. It is a, wait, is it like a guild? I don't know, man. Guild? I don't know, man. It's like, like we're supposed it's to know. Like first time, first time viewers are like <laughs> FA DA. <laughs> FF. He's writing for FF. <laughs> no, <Now> I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> wait, are these guilds? Are these writing guilds? <laughs> Do they, do, they, oh. do they pull their money together and just like go eat pizza? And nah, bro, that's uh, that's uh, that's fairy army. Now he, he did. He went to a dragon army. Now he's for now, now he's with fire uh, fire fantasy uh, films. Fire <laughs> <laughs> Fs. Okay, okay. <laughs> silent in the. It is an honor to be here and a pleasure to share my works with people who truly enjoy, uh, enjoy a good story or two. You know what the guilds are probably for? The groups? Mm -hmm. Probably for like, you know, new people, new writers get onto these groups and then the groups promote their stuff for some kind of fee, maybe? It's just insane and those are nothings. Those aren't things? Those are <laughs> like it's just him and it, like his dolls or something? Alright. Let's, uh, let's get back to the story. <clears throat> Whoa, what happened? Okay, wait. Here we go. <clears throat> Sonic's Super Sexy Adventure. It was a quiet morning in the world of Mobius, and by that I mean the silly version of Mobius with the Sonic Says segments where penis is pronounced pingus sometimes and all that other wacky junk. And in the great force of Dr. Robotnik, all was normal. Robotnik was just waking up at the time, letting out a massive yawn and looking up towards the window, the morning sun shining brightly upon him. Ah, what a lovely day to attempt to destroy Sonic again, he said, rubbing his eye. Is that what he thinks of first thing in the morning box? <laughs> like, man, fuck that guy, Sonic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't fuck with him, guys. Good night's sleep. Good, good breakfast brewing. I, I just need to kill Sonic. I, fuck the coffee, Gladys. I need to kill Sonic. I just need. <laughs> it was then that he noticed a rather large tent in the bed, made by none other than his, um, well, you know. Well, well, what do we have here? Asked Robotnik. Looks like someone wants to play this morning. <laughs> okay, then let's go into my toy closet and see what we can find. With that said, is that the first thing people do like when they have a boner? They're like, let me let me go find my tools. Wait. Let me go find my equipment. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> With that said, he hopped out of bed in the same costume he always wore every single day and headed off to a, a door next to his bed. Upon opening it, he revealed it revealed the entrance to a vast maze of shelves and toys, which he gladly stepped into to find something to play with. <clears throat> To this doctor, 
This is an everyday activity to him. It was normal for him to have a huge tent in the morning, and it was also quite ordinary for him to go into his vast maze of toys whenever hey, he was hey, hunting. jacket, fam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's literally. Grab a jacket, fam. <laughs> <laughs> for something to play with, since it was much more fun playing with toys than playing without them. Now, normally, he would have found something nice by now, but for some reason, he just couldn't find something that interested him. Mile after mile? <laughs> was he in the closet? Was he running at this point? <laughs> Wait, is it just a morning jog? <laughs> and as he continued on, nothing caught his eye. From the greatest and largest of sex machines to the smallest and simple gadgets, absolutely nothing was of interest to him. After a good three hours, he returned from the maze still horny and unsatisfied. By the time he returned, his two robot goons, Scratch and Grounder, had brought him fresh pancakes for breakfast. But the moment they saw Robotnik and the large bump in the crotch area in his suit, they knew something was up. Hey, Dr. Robotnik, asked Grounder, surprised at the sight of Robotnik's huge boner. Hey, time out. You may have brought him like three hours. He's just to go to the doctor. That was his closet. <laughs> no, like, he should go to the doctor. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that feels for that. What is wrong with your dinky? <coughs> yeah, Dr. Robotnik, normally you would have taken care of that morning wood by now. What's wrong? Asked Scratch. <laughs> so did he program them to like, like, actually know what that is? To know when he should get, take care you of it? You care about it, bro? <laughs> is it just AI? What do, you, what do you think Metal Sonic would do? You just start sucking him off or something? I need to kill Sonic, but... With Metal Sonic. <laughs> with, with that man Metal Sonic, though. <laughs> I'm the ultimate life. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised as you are, my loyal but stupid henchman. After so many years, I've finally grown bored of my collection. I've used each toy at least 66 times, he wrote it down. Robotnik replied, mm -hmm. letting out a sigh and plopping his fat ass on his bed, sitting upon, sitting upon his bed with a rather sad look on an ugly face. Wow, you're really shitting on Eggman now, aren't you? <laughs> Why not get some toys? Su it suggested Grounder as he ate Robotnik's pancakes. That's just it, Grounder. I have gotten every toy that ever existed. There just isn't anything new that'll be worth adding to my collection these days. Aw, oh, don't worry, Dr. Robotnik, Scratch said, trying to make the doctor feel better. You could always use Grounder's nose for pleasure until you find something of interest. That won't be necessary, Ro Robotnik replied. I am no longer in the mood. He vents his death. He then sighed in disappointment, got up, and left for his lab. As he left, his two goons watched, feeling rather sorry for him. Poor Dr. Robotnik said Grounder licking the plate that had Robotnik. Grounder's a mad man, man, bro. Just eat that man's pancake. In front of him. <laughs> dude, I mean, it's just a boner, though, guys. Like, I don't know why you're... Yeah, dude, like, <laughs> we, everyone just needs to calm down, man. Like, you either take care of it, you don't. Like, I don't... <laughs> like it's not an issue. <laughs> this man's whole day is ruined. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the lab... Robotnik was simply looking through his super mega the duper over 9,000 telescope. Are we watching? Hold on, let me read that. Door? No, bro, I'm like, I didn't. Hold on, where are you at? They ain't real. They ain't real. Is, are we watching the kids next door? Nah, bro. He would have used that two by four. For technology. technology. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a small village to take his frustration out on. As he did that though, he caught a glimpse of what looked like a blue dot with an orange dot in the distance. Zooming in, he found out that it was that pesky blue fag. Okay, homophobia. Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> and his friend, Tails the Fox. Yet there was something odd about Sonic today. Besides the fact that he was running far slower than usual, he also had an odd object between his legs. Something that looked like a large pingus with the hugest pair of nuts he ever saw. Okay, so Sonic before now did not have a penis. <coughs> G-Tails asked Sonic to his flying friend, trying so hard to drag his giant weenie behind him, dragging it along the ground and getting it all dirty. It sure is a pain carrying this thing everywhere. That's the last time I go to a party hosted by Sonic, you that sick fuck. Mm. Was that a Christian reference? Mm. Was that a... <sighs> Why did Christian have such an effect on this community? Like, fuck, man. I mean, I, th I think if I were writing fan fiction, I would have to include the the messiah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the progenitor of all this stuff. It's a good thing I didn't go into his magic closet like you, or I would have ended up with a vagina. Replied Tails, staring on at that big hot dog of Sonic's. Yeah, yeah, very funny, Tails. How about you give me a hand instead of staring at it all day? Okay then, Sonic. Hold on tight. Okay, this is where it gets weird. 
Tails replied as he let Sonic grab onto his feet, lifting him in his ding dong into there with all his might and carried him home. After seeing such a sight, Robotic had suddenly discovered that he wanted to add to his vast collection. He began to jump for joy after his discovery, the loud thumping of his jumping soon getting the attention of his robots. Hey Dr. Robotnik, what's going on? asked Grounder as he wiped his face clean of maple syrup with scratches wow. tail feathers. Has something happened that made you upset? Oh no 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 Grounder, There were no, those were no angry jumps, rather they were jumps for joy since I have found something that made my pingus wingle, wiggle. What have you found Dr. Robotnik sir? asked Scratch. Unaware that Grounder is using his tail feathers to wipe his face. Today, I've made an amazing discovery. I've seen the largest wanker in the world, and that wanker belongs to a pesky blue rodent that I hate, Robotnik said, showing his henchman what he saw on his master computer. So? asked both Robotnik's robot goons, cutting him off in the middle of his speech. Silence! I wasn't finished yet. As I was saying, I want to have that dong for myself. Ew, Robotnik, you're not thinking of sleeping with your arch enemy, are you? Said Grounder in a concerned tone, nearly losing his breakfast. No, why would I do something like that? The idea I had in mind is to send you both for brains after Sonic and cut off his dick. He, he called he called Sonic a, Sonic a fag, and uh, <laughs> I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking he's the homo. <laughs> <laughs> why did this? Why is this? Why is there no girls? There's no girls, guys. Well, we didn't see a homo tag. We didn't see a, a gay tag, a man-on-man -man tag. Isn't there usually tags for this stuff? Yeah, the M-O-M, bro. It's the M-O-M. Mm -hmm. The mom, bro. <laughs> Incest. <laughs> and then return it to me so that I may preserve it and add it to my collection. Said collection of hedgehog dicks. <laughs> Said Robotnik to his robots, a sinister <laughs> smile forming on his face. But how will we catch him? He's just too fast for us. Scratch told Robotnik, Grounder nodding in agreement shortly afterwards. Wait, this is turning into gay Sonic the Hedgehog. What do you mean? Fan fiction. It's beyond weird now. It's beyond weird. Guys, if you did Bro, this is beyond weird. <laughs> it went from weird to ultra weird. Is it because Sonic is canonically a straight male? Bro, you're just mad because Sonic is the definition of a straight male. Too fast. Bah. That's old news now, since that giant weenie appeared between his legs. He has become ten times as slow. It shouldn't be that hard to catch him now. Here, take this hedge clipper and go find yourself a few more other gadgets to take with you. I want that pingus by any means necessary, so don't screw up. And oh, while you're at it, make sure to crush that pest after you steal his manhood away. So 2010, were they just using Pingus a lot, or like, what's a, is that the lingo? I don't. I didn't use Pingus. I don't know if you used Pingus. I don't. Oh, oh I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Said the robots, grabbing the clipper and a few simple gizmos, and quickly dashing out the door on a hunt for Sonic's hot dog. As they left, Robotnik began to laugh an evil laugh like most bad guys do when something evil is about to happen. Of course, wow, that description. Much later, Grounder and Scratch were at a crossroad not far from Robotnik's fortress trying to pick a trap for Sonic. How about we use this bear trap, Scratch suggested Grounder holding up a rather scary bear trap. A bear trap? Are you crazy? We're supposed to capture Sonic with his dick intact, not chop off, chop his dick off. We should use something that will keep his wanker intact, like this super sticky paper. We nail this to the ground and the moment Sonic steps on it, pow, we got him. Hey, I'm not crazy. My idea is a great idea, unlike your idea. You can't <laughs> cripple him with sticky paper, Grounder said, causing his arms. In case you didn't notice, Sonic's dink is so huge now. It drags along the ground. If it gets caught in your bear trap, it will get so mangled that Robotnik will turn you into scrap metal for breaking it. Hey, wait a second. If his penis drags along the ground, wouldn't that mean using sticky paper is a bad idea too? Think about it, it's really sticky, meaning it wouldn't come off really easily at all. Dude, they're the robots! They're robots! <laughs> <laughs> they're robots! <laughs> Sonic's just a hedgehog! But is there no super strength in this lore? They're just... They're robots, guys. Just, just pick them up. Just pick them up, just take them. And if you're... <laughs> And if you're, Shoot tails in the head, just pick them up and take them. And if you're unable to take it off, Robotnik will turn you in a strap scrap metal. 
Oh no, I didn't think of that. Oh, this is harder than I thought. How are we going to catch Sonic without damaging the goods? Scratch said, trying to think of something. As Scratch thought hard, Grounder looked down at the ground and saw a nice raw kid. He then bent it over and picked it up and showed it to Scratch. You know, this is a lot of fucking foreplay for some Dude, sex, man. No, I, it's a lot listen, of fucking bro, foreplay. Listen, bro, listen. I'm, I'm pretty chill on the idea that they're super chill about Dr. Robotnik being super, like, homo. It's just, it's, like, it's just like, okay, yeah. That's no, like, fine in and of itself. Him being gay is not the problem here. <laughs> it's the problem that he apparently has a boner every morning, and they see that every morning, and that it's become like, a regular routine. Yeah, like, it's like, okay, no, no wonder he's not killed Sonic yet. It's just super apparent that, like... He's just totally drained every day and just like, okay, it's just not his first priority, obviously. <laughs> How about we use this, Grounder ass? Grounder, you're a genius. If we throw this rock hard enough at him, it would knock him out. We could easily lop off his weenie. Ooh, Great what? thinking, Grounder. Whoa, how did they go from using traps to throwing shit at him? <laughs> <laughs> Moments after they came up with such a brilliant plan, they could hear what sounded like tails of the fox flying not far from where they were. So they quickly dived behind a large rock and went to see who it was. They soon found out it was Tails who was carrying Sonic around. Look, Sonic, I'm getting tired. Can we stop and rest? Asked Tails him having trouble keeping steady in the air. Come on buddy, just a little longer. We're almost home, Sonic replied, trying to encourage Tails to keep flying. As they passed by the rock, two robots were hiding behind. The robot began to take aim. It was a little hard for him to hit a moving target, especially one that couldn't keep a straight course in the sky. Wait, it's a tragedy in the, those tags. They're gonna get his dick, aren't they? They're gonna get his fucking dick, aren't they? I'm gonna kill him, dude. He's gonna die. Come on, come on, Scratch said. We're all wanting to lose out of Sonic. Keep a steady aim and make sure to hit Sonic. Don't miss. Don't rush me, replied Grounder, who took his time aiming. It was really, it was a really intense moment for him. After a few more seconds of waiting, he finally threw the rock with all his might. But alas, even with all that time he took aiming, it was all in vain. For once the rock was launched, rather than heading for Sonic, it hit Tails in the head and said, Tails went out like a light the moment the rock smashed him in the face, sending him and Sonic, along with Sonic's huge dong, yeah we assumed that already, we didn't have to, falling down to the ground faster than Hitler's empire. Whoa, like, and then a Hitler reference, what's going on dude? Dude. What's going on man? What do you think he's doing at home right now? The guy who made this, you think he's writing more or is he... No, he only had two up on his, his, on his channel. Like, was he only has two? You think he killed himself? Nah, man, look at all this, like, good content he has up. Why would he do that? Then, yeah, I don't think he could fall faster than Hitler's empire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then with a loud thump, they both hit the ground. Sonic, did he try to, like, I'm stuck on this Hitler comment. Was he trying to sound smart or something? Like, well, I think, like, this super edgy... Super edgy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> then, with a loud thump, they both hit the ground. Sonic and his pingus were lucky to be alive and one besides a few bruises here and there. But Tails, on the other hand, was not looking too good. As Sonic got up to check on his little friend, he soon realized that Ten Tails was not looking good at all. Mainly due to the fact that Tails was in a pool of blood. Okay, here's the tragedy. Here we go. Tails, Tails, are you okay, buddy? Sonic asked his hand on Tails' mangled shoulder. He had no response. Oh, Tails, what have I done? I worked you far too hard. I'm so sorry, said Sonic, kneeling in front of his poor friend, his wanker pretty much crushing Tails' corpse. Hey, there's not even gonna be any sex in here. This is. It's dicks gonna, out. It's going to be just dicks out. It's <laughs> just dicks out, dude. It's just, it's just horrible stuff happening with dicks out, bro. That's it. This all that's been happening is there's no sex. It's just dicks out. Should we just, like, cut this, cut this, like, cut Guys. the video off here and then keep going Guys. in another part? It's about to end in, like, ten seconds. I hey man, see see the next video, man. <laughs> see the next video. Tune in. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, like I kind of want to skip to, but I know, dude. I know that it's done, dude.